So this is uh, about 1932 National steel guitar. This is a round neck, meaning that you play it like a regular guitar, not with a slide. I mean, you could put a slide on your little finger, but it's not a lap steel. It's an acoustic guitar. I'm going to spin it around. Okay. No cracks. Crack here in the finish. I'm gonna we'll get dizzy next. Howdy. That looks pretty good. Yeah. So this is about a 1932 National. We must assume it's a National. Um, resonator guitar. Resophonic guitar. Pretty much the way it was built. Uh, I set this guitar up about a year ago. And uh, it plays nicely, has a nice sound, it's strung 11 to 50. There's a note over there. Oh, leave it. It doesn't have a buzz. Uh, the owner would like it to be a little louder and brighter. Um, he wanted me to go over and make sure that it was not being held back by anything and it's not. It's a nice guitar. Uh, it's a round neck guitar. It's meant to be fretted and not played by your lap. Uh, the main thing about the this type of national guitar is I'm saying 32 because it these guitars didn't show up until after the crash. Um, and this style of guitar involves an unsung hero of guitar world. His name is Beecham, spelled Beauchamp. Beauchamp. Um, he was a partner with uh, the Do Paris, and uh, he came to John Dopera in the beginning asking for a guitar that would have a speaker in it like a radio, one of those big old radios. And Dopera had already been thinking about stuff and he used three small speakers or aluminum cones. And that made an expensive guitar. It also had a uh, virtual spider, a three legged, what well, would later turn into a spider, that connected the three, a T. After the Depression, people couldn't afford that kind of guitar, but they could afford one with a single cone, and uh, that's when Mr. Beecham's, he, he wanted Dopera to make this guitar from the beginning, and uh, his name is on the patent with Dopera. He went on to hang out with uh, Rickenbacker. And I believe he's instrumental in the development of the Rickenbacker pickup, which is virtually the first electrical guitar pickup. They fooled around with magnets in the kitchen table, looking at iron filings and sussing uh, magnetism. Anyway, I'm going to play this. Part of what I'm doing is documenting the sound of original instruments, vintage or original instruments, using consistent recording techniques and video. 
tuned to open E flat. That means G is right where it always was. Intonation exactness is usually not encountered with the typical biscuit bridge. It's possible to intonate a biscuit bridge like a bone saddle. Well, my, my hand is not doing so good. Anyway, this guitar is in real nice shape. It's got a really good funky sound. The strings are light. <coughs> I might put some phosphor bronze strings on here. And if you want some more pop, <coughs> bringing these up to 11 to 52 would, uh, I think it, would, it wouldn't be the best thing to do because it plays real nice right now. And action's real lower, like at 088, 089, something like that. And also, this is a 12 fret guitar. Very nice. rotated the camera everything looks fine to me we get the whole guitar this way 
but it's going to be laying down when you see it. screw on. Yeah. Take a few pictures. 